So the name of today's topic is black box pen testing versus white box pen testing. Now, these are the two terms you will be hearing a lot if you go for certification courses like CEH, pen test plus, OSCP, OSWE, and others. So let me explain the difference between both of them. Now, let's start with black box pen testing. So black box pen testing is where uh, you as a pen tester won't get any access to the applications or the networks or their infrastructure beforehand. So you will have to go through the different phases of hacking or you will have to follow uh, you know, framework or a model to gain access into their infrastructure. So it's going to simulate a real attack. So you will start with the recon and then you're going to gain access into the network or their infrastructure. So you will think like a real life attacker, right? You don't have any time constraints. You can create your own plan, right? And you can perform different phases and then exfiltrate information. Whereas if you talk about white box pen testing, so white box pen testing is going to provide the pen tester some access to their applications, their code, their documentation. With this, the pen tester would identify the logical vulnerabilities, right? Any specific security exposures or misconfigurations or if they are let's take for an example uh, if they are performing code auditing then they can point out the mistakes made by the developers so this type of pen testing is more comprehensive right because they have access to all the applications now they have to find out what else is required to secure those applications or the networks or the infrastructure so Let's point out some more differences between the two. Now, if we talk about a goal, right? Then black box pen testing's goal is to mimic a true cyber attack, right? Whereas for white box pen testing, here we assume that the attacker has already gained access to a privileged account or for example, they are mimicking or impersonating an administrator. Let's talk about the second difference, access level. So in black box pen testing, there is zero access for the internal information. Attacker has to do each and everything by themselves. Whereas in white box pen testing, the attacker has, or the pen tester has open access to all the systems, all the infrastructure, they'll have access to the network diagrams. Then let's talk about the pros and cons of each approach. Now, if I talk about the pros of black box pen testing, then it's going to be extremely realistic. This testing is done from the point of view of an attacker. Whereas if we talk about cons, this is time consuming, definitely time consuming, and this is going to miss some vulnerabilities, right? Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of white box pen testing. Uh, a sure shot pro is that it's going to be more comprehensive and uh, it won't be missing a lot of vulnerabilities. There are lesser chances of getting false positives or false negatives, right? And then if we talk about the cons of white box pen testing, you need a good amount of access, right? So that you can provide the data to the pen tester. You're going to require access to a lot of information here in white box pen testing. And uh, the testing is done by experienced pen testers. So this is definitely going to be expensive. Right? So in today's video, we talked about the difference between black box and white box pen testing in the next video will take up another topic. So thank you and see you in the next video.